In short, your gun will function underwater. But, firearms are not very efficient underwater. So, your gun may not work for what you need it to accomplish. Gunpowder contains oxygen, a key element in the firing process, so when the trigger is pulled, the gun still goes off exactly as it would on land, as long as no water has crept inside the shell casing. When it comes to science experiments, Andrew Wall, a Norwegian physicist, isn't afraid to take risks. In this experiment, Wall hops into a pool and puts himself in the direct line of fire with a loaded gun. Using a cord, he pulls the trigger on himself. Water is 800% more dense than air, so unlike a bullet fired above the surface, once the bullet hits the water, it immediately begins slowing down. And instead of barreling towards Wall, the bullet slows and falls to the bottom of the pool. Water causes issues with the ammunition, the action, and the projectile ballistics. The issues start with water getting into the ammunition. Modern ammunition is somewhat watertight. It resists rain and external moisture very well. Even being submerged isn't enough to immediately foul your ammunition. A minute or two underwater usually won't cause the ammunition itself to fail. However, if it sits underwater for hours or longer, it's likely that water will get into the casing and render the powder too wet to ignite. As you know, guns are designed to work in standard atmospheric conditions. So, being submerged in water causes trouble with the action of most semi-automatic handguns and rifles. Often, the expended casing doesn't get ejected correctly and causes a stovepipe or failure to eject. Or, the water slows the action down too much for it to cycle completely. This causes a failure to go into battery or a failure to feed. Either way, being submerged in water essentially turns your semi-automatic firearm into a single shot. But revolvers don't suffer from this issue. And, there's evidence that an AK-47 is able to fire repeatedly without malfunctioning. This is where things get interesting. The effective range of every gun drops dramatically when it's fired. So dramatically that you won't be able to count on anything beyond about 5 or 6 feet. Once you get your gun underwater, the barrel almost immediately fills up with water. All that water has to be pushed out of the barrel by the bullet. Depending on the length of the barrel, the weight of all this water might be several times heavier than the bullet itself. Pushing this water significantly reduces the muzzle velocity. Then, cutting through water quickly reduces the bullet velocity. The projectile becomes non-lethal very quickly. Also, even if your bullet exits the water shortly after it leaves the barrel, it will still be severely hobbled in terms of ballistic performance. The water already did its damage to the bullet velocity and stability. So, to answer the question we started with. Yes, your gun will work underwater, but in a very limited capacity. It will require more than standard shooting fundamentals to effectively deploy your gun while in the water. <laughs>